After installing the VAFC, a check engine light shows up and the engine begins to idle rough. The harness comes off and data diagnosis the problem. How's that sound now? Uh, nice and smooth. Made a mistake on the little wiring diagram. Fix that up real quick. So we got the new computer in it. We're gonna do a little bit of drivability. Car idle's a little rough. Uh, it's running real lean on on idle. So let's get this running smoother. Then we'll start start going into some actually wide open throttle tuning. I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> After rewiring the ECU harness, David accelerates through the power band while simultaneously tuning the ECU. Looks like we hit 194 at 79.50 and for the torque we got 134 foot pounds of torque at 61.50 rpm. After the first pass, let's see how the numbers stack up. The charcoal canister was hooked up without a fucking valve. That's why I was smoking. Yeah, you know everything. Huh? You know everything. Oh yeah. Right here. <laughs> See that? <laughs> Revalve a charcoal canister? What we do is we disconnect it. When we get something to plug it up. You're not supposed to do this at at home. <laughs> the challenge heats up when David's friend Corey makes a bet that he can't hit 200 horses. the charcoal canister and a little more tuning, David goes for the second pass.
Determined to show up Corey, David makes a few more adjustments and goes for another pass. After several more passes, David decides to call it quits at 199. With a gain of 10.6 horses, this simple modification proves to be quite successful. Tune in next time when we watch the pros turbocharge this naturally aspirated Civic Coupe for some serious power games. Thanks for watching.